a very special day, at least for me, because I'm making feijoada, my favorite food and the most popular Brazilian food. And to celebrate, I'm also having some caipirinhas. Feijoada! It's widely believed that feijoada was only cooked and eaten by the slaves. They cooked bean stew with leftover meat that their master didn't want to eat, like pork feet, ears, tail, nose, and other parts. But this isn't true. Back then, they were not spoiled like us now. They would eat all parts of the animal. Now, we only eat some parts of the animal that comes in plastic container. Beans are very easy to cultivate and cook, so feijoada was a stew eaten and cooked by the rich and the poor. Feijoada! So delicious! So we have here all the ingredients for the feijoada. We have some garlic and onions for a refogado. Here we have pork loin, ribs and some beef that was already cured and already took out the salt. You can see the method of salting it and taking out the salt on my carne seca video. So it's easy to do it and very important for this recipe. We also have smoked sausage and smoked bacon. Here we have the beans soaked overnight. Remember to change the water at least once. This will help you to not fart. <laughs> I'm adding the meat now to water and we're going to boil it for like around uh, 10 minutes only. This is to give like a pre-cooked to it and then we're going to add the, the meat to the beans after. Now we're going to start chopping all the ingredients. <laughs> See, the water is more clear and we just want to rinse this water and then this meat is going to go to the feijoada. We are going to start with the bacon and the smoked sausage. So the pan is mild hot. It's not very hot because I want to release some of the fat. So to do that, it's good the pan to not be to be very hot. You can see that it's still coming up some foam, so I will keep scooping this off. Oh feijoada, you are the best food in the world. It should have a feijoada song, I feel. No? Yeah, something like that. See this caramelized color on the pan? That's pure flavor. That's what we want. Mmm, smelling super nice. Okay. While well, waiting for that, we'll drink some caipirinha. See how beautiful and caramelized it got? So it's time to add the onions and the garlic. Or refogado. The smell of the onion and the garlic with the bacon and the sausage. Jesus. I'm going to add all this beautiful meat that we have it over here. I have it over here about a kilo and a half of meat. So I will add around 500 grams of beans. Some bay leaves. The skin, I'm going to add it over there as well. Add the beans once you have all your meat fried. That's it, it's quite easy, isn't it? 
Now I'm just filling up with water and it needs to go three fingers above. Basically you want to cover. And this process will take about two hours. And do not add any salt on this moment because remember your meat is very salty. So you don't want to over salt after we're going to taste and season it. We are making the sides of the feijoada. We are making now collard greens. Collard greens is colvi, which is a very common dish, side dish with the feijoada. And we are using cavallo nero and also Brussels sprouts leaves. This is, gives uh, the same texture and taste of the collard greens because here in the Netherlands, I can't find it anywhere. good you don't want to overcook yeah you still want your leaves to be nice and green and vibrant nice it's ready fast beautiful veggie side dish for your meal now it's time for farofa fa, which is delicious and uh, we are going to you can eat that plain like i said before right but we are making it with uh, some bacon and uh, some of the smoked sausage, this uh, calabresa Portuguese kind of sausage. Just very, very nice. First, we're gonna give a little fry. Farofa, it's a cassava flour, and uh, you use this cassava root for a lot of things in Brazil. It's the base of Brazilian cuisine. It comes from the indigenous, and what it's one of the things that uh, the Brazilian people, you know, the immigrants, they learn a lot with the natives, which using the cassava, the mandioca, manioc, uh, to make many different things. And uh, we eat a lot of cassava flour with so many dishes and uh it's, it's just give it like a nice crunch to the dish so it's super nice and super versatile as well so i want this nice and caramelized i'm going to add now to this lovely beautiful mix over here onions and uh, garlic that i blended and you can cut it like in small pieces as well i just did that too should be quite fast and easy and I made on the pan that I was cooking the cola green it's not cola green it was kale but you know the flavor was all there it's not you don't need to wash the pan and then use it again so it has a, a bit of garlic on it it's nice nice now we're gonna add the cassava flour and mix slowly and then we can turn off the heat so now to complement the farofa i'm gonna cut some parsley to go with so just roughly chop yeah A little bit more. Nice. To the farofa. You can taste and season. I actually could use a little bit more fat. So I'm improvising a bit. I'm gonna add a bit more butter. Because I want this farofa a little bit more wet. Yes, farofa is done. Beautiful. Let me just give a little taste. Oh god, and for to say farofa. <laughs> Definitely the butter gives 
a more richness to it. Banana Milanesa. That's what we're making now. And like I said before, it's delicious. We're gonna eat with the feijoada as well. Great, I have here some peeled bananas already. I'm gonna bread that. I'm just gonna cut them in half because it's it's nicer uh, to fry, it's easier to fry and eat and all that, okay? And I have some eggs that I'm going to break, these two eggs to this bowl. I'm gonna just whisk a little bit. I'm gonna add some milk to it. If you don't have milk, you can use uh, some water as well. So it's about a half a cup of milk. Add a bit of salt, just to enhance flavor. Okay, it's not to make it salty or nothing like that. Yeah, so I'm gonna add the bananas to the bowl. Take the excess out and add it to the breadcrumbs. Okay, shake, 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 shake. So help the breadcrumbs to stick. And if you wanna even have more crunchy, you can dip it again quickly and repeat the process and you're gonna have a thicker layer and it gets more crunchy. Oh, I'm so hungry! <laughs> yeah! Deep frying banana! Oh, delicious! So this is the fried delicious banana that I was talking about. That's how I should like nice golden caramelized color. Beautiful. So now all the dishes of the feijoada, the side dishes of the feijoada, it's here ready to go. And I have the feijoada nice and super creamy and the meat is just like falling apart so i don't want to mix too much because i want still like big chunks of meat like big pieces like that and uh, oh now we are ready to plate and ready to eat can't wait okay so we're gonna have mm, this rice it smells so nice it goes well and should go actually with rice Rice and beans is the base of Brazilian cuisine. The kale. So many beautiful colors. Banana. The feijoada. We do eat with some orange as well because it cleans the powder, it cleans the taste. So it's very nice to eat the feijoada and clean up with the orange after. Like always, very excited about eating and this is like I said before, this is my favorite food. Love feijoada, so I'm just getting a little bit of everything with this beautiful banana as well. <laughs> a little bit of the hot sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, this is amazing. Thank you for watching. Like my videos, comment below, and let me know if you tried the feijoada. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>